Good morning. It's early, and you know, like when you wake up so early that like your eyes kind of water and kind of hurts, like it hurts you. That's kind of where I am right now. Got a nine hour drive ahead of us. I'm gonna get some Starbucks and then we're gonna hit the road and get out of here. Disney World. good so we just got here pretty excited at the yacht club i just dropped off mckenzie and all the luggage up front just parked the car we're gonna be heading out nice day a little overcast that's okay need you guys to check out the entrance it looks pretty cool ready I had called yesterday and they had said they put a little message about having rooms nearby. They don't need to be next to each other. Is it but Teresa? Yeah. Yes. Yes, they're actually going to be right next oh, to okay. Right next to one another. Okay. Awesome. I'd be in. Okay. Right side. Okay, thank you. Thank you. to get here but we're here should have taken some migraine medicine but I'm so excited, it's okay that I don't feel good. Because I'm really happy. <laughs> why are you so happy? Tell the camera why you're so happy. Why am I so happy? We are in my most favorite place in the whole entire world. The most magical place on earth. And I've waited to stay in a deluxe resort my whole life and we are doing it and oh my goodness I can't even <laughs> Kenzie and I are experiencing Disney World with her parents, Scott and Teresa. And after an eight hour drive, we all needed to unwind with a drink. The Cruise Cup Lounge was just down the hallway and it hit the spot. It's a smaller, quaint little pub with a nice selection of whiskey, beer, and cocktails. Compared to the rest of the resort, it was very quiet and relaxing. Exactly what we needed. It was right next to the Yachtsman Steakhouse, which is where we were eating that night. So that was convenient. We give the Cruise Cup Lounge a resounding recommendation, and you'll be seeing more of it in future videos. We went up to our rooms to lie down a bit, settle into our week-long home, and freshen up for some exploring. First stop on our adventure, the gift shop. 
McKinsey and Company took the time to check out the clothing, knickknacks, and merchandise while I, myself, took a liking to the Disney pins. I'm not as huge of a collector as others might be, but they do interest me. I collect a resort pin from every resort we stay at, and I'll pick one up if it serves the memory we had during the trip. There's always something for me to look at while the others are shopping around. Next stop, Stormalong Bay. This pool is one of the biggest on property and one of the most intricate. It is a sand bottom pool, has a lazy river, and has a giant water slide that starts from a huge pirate ship across the way. It's a pool that is exclusive to yacht and beach club guests. Not even other deluxe resort guests are allowed in. Some people stay at these resorts for the pool alone. It's a popular spot and usually has a crowd, for good reason. It's dinner time and we were ready for some meat. We got to watch the butcher prepare our cuts as Scott got to explain the dry aging process and what beef does as it ages. Since it was near my birthday, I got to take home a special birthday menu, meat. It was quite the establishment, I'll tell you that. I'd probably skip the Kansas City cut steak that I got and would steer you towards the fillets and the ribeyes. Those were much better. This here, it was a dessert that was delicious and was described by Scott as Big bloody goat eye. <laughs> Big bloody goat eye. So this is the end of day one. We've got lots more to show you, so uh, like and comment below. And be sure to subscribe so you'll see the rest of our trip. Thanks for watching.